So, this is a bit of a tough one for me. Uh, I, just like a lot of people my age, I grew up on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Really just knew it as Dragon Ball Z when I first came over, but it was a big part of my childhood. And as everyone knows by now, if you're aware of anything about the world of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, you've heard that unfortunately the creator, Akira Toriyama, recently passed away. Um, I'm recording this video, you know, a little bit after, um, and it sucks, man. Uh, he was a big part of my childhood. You know, Dragon Ball Z was a huge part of my childhood, watching it after school. You know, me and my cousins that are my age all loved it. All my friends loved it. It was just a big deal. Even people that said they didn't really watch it, like, they grew up with it, you know, secretly watched it, I'm sure, but. And I believe he had a big influence on just anime going forward, like in America and out here. And nowadays it's cool to like anime and my days it wasn't. And I can't help but believe that us growing up on Dragon Ball Z and then, you know, other stuff following it, you know, like Toonami and everything had a big part in doing that. Well, had a big part. Yeah, with that. Uh and it's hard when, of course, I didn't know Akira Toriyama personally, but I, for a lack of a better word, I would consider him, you know, basically a childhood hero. You know, much like, you know, all the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You know, I know there's, and, you know, don't know them personally either. Or, uh, I, I hear they're pretty good people. I know there's been controversies and everything. But this feels a lot like when uh, Jason David Frank passed away, the original Mighty Morphin Green Ranger. You know, he was a big part of Power Rangers because he stayed on for several seasons. And he was still active in the fan base and everything. So it just sucks when stuff like this happens because you kind of don't know exactly how to react. Because, of course, you know, you, like I said, you don't know them personally, but it still affects you. But... I think all we can do is just move forward and continue to appreciate the artwork and just all the projects he gave us and continue to love his, you know, creations like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and all that good stuff. So that's why I'm just going ahead and doing this review. It's been in the review pile for a while, but I decided just to go ahead and move it up a little bit. I've been itching to get to it, but enough of the somber note. Uh, let's get into this review. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel Just Justin Collects. If you haven't already, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video. Stay, to stay tuned for more action figure, toy related content. I've got some top 10 videos coming up, a bunch of reviews on the channel, and a room tour already on the channel as well. So make sure you check that out. But today, we are looking at the brand new updated 3.0 body Legendary Super Saiyan Goku figure. I'm very excited for this figure. I did take him out of box when I first got him in the mail, just to make sure there are no QC issues, and just everything just moves like butter. Absolutely love it. Love the look. We're going to get into it. And just some backstory on him. This is from when he was fighting Frieza on Namek and all that good stuff. and near the end of the fight goes full power he's all buff and i'm really excited about this new buck because they could use it on several other characters to update them like potentially a cell saga trunks that'd be awesome from when he got all buff fighting a uh, perfect cell so without further ado let's get into the review all right so doing a quick trace shot here you can see goku and all the accessories he comes with comes with four different face plates I think six different sets of hands, the Kamehameha effect, a couple extra hair pieces. So everything's looking great. Just like to kind of show off the tray before we really dive into it. So let's see exactly what we're working with. Open this tray and yeah, I'm excited. So we've got our Goku out of the packaging and just taking a quick look at him. This figure is really everything I hoped it would be. This looks amazing. So we can go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I don't know how well it comes across on camera. Personally, 
looking at it in person, it's not as bad as everyone's making it out to be. The chest is a different shade, like a different skin tone from the arms. Alrighty then. And uh, my opinion, it's not that big of a deal. Right here, like uh, in that angle on camera, it looks a lot more obvious than it does in person to me. It's something I can honestly overlook. Because when you have him posed up and everything, you know, it's it's whatever. Whatever, dude. Whatever. But, you know, some people might be a little more OCD than I am. And it might bother you. And that might be your deciding factor of not liking this figure. That's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. I get it. To me, it's not enough to sway me to it being like a big enough of a negative for me to really knock the figure. It's not that big of a deal for me. I can simply say he normally wears a shirt, so uh, he's got a pale chest next to his tan arms. But a yeah, closer look, he comes with like that stern face on there. His regular hair. You just see just the buffness of, what did he say? of this new buck. This looks absolutely awesome. Uh, you see the torn pants, the tathers from his ripped shirt, just all that battle damage. This figure is absolutely amazing. So let's get into some of the accessories he comes with. Or extra parts, if you will. Today, Junior! So first, he comes with his Kamehameha. Charge up effect. Blast effect, however you want to use it. Kameha. So that's pretty neat. You do have to assemble this. It's pretty simple. It, it took me like a minute or two. Goku also comes with an extra front hair piece for this head sculpt. Where it's... uh. Only just one bang hanging down versus, so you can see on this one, all those bangs are hanging down. And he comes with this whole extra head that you can attach any of the face sculpts to. And it's just missing the bangs all together. So it's just a full power up effect. And we'll take a look at that. As you can see, here's Goku with that extra front hair piece with just the one bang hanging down. So you get some really cool poses and cool looks with that. And here he is with the whole extra headpiece. I did have to pop the kind of stoic face sculpt off for it to kind of look right with all that hair. Standing up on this head with this headpiece, there's no bangs or anything. So it's just full power up, full rage. So I put the shouting face on there. That looks awesome, man. That looks so good. And, of course, as face sculpts go, he's got that stoic kind of kind of frowning face on that comes on on him out of packaging. Bring him to stand up. Here's the shouting face I just showed you. Here is the teeth gritting face. And let's see here. Oh, if I can get it. The smiling expression face, kind of like a smug, like he, he knows he's got Frieza beat. And as far as hands go, he comes with a set of fists on him out of packaging. He comes with these regular fully open palm hands, like he can pose them getting ready to blast somebody. He comes with these open hands with these pegs for the Kamehameha effect. He comes with a couple different sets of uh, gesturing or grippy hands. Well, kind of more open palm hands. So you got these with all the fingers extended. You've got these with the two fingers on the end kind of bent down a little more. So for some different posing, different you know, varieties. And then you've got these with the fingers at the end completely down and just the thumb and the two, uh, like the middle finger and the pointer finger out. So different hands op hand options. 
and SH Figure Arts usually gives us a lot of different good hand options. So let's see how he sizes up in comparison to some other Dragon Ball uh, Goku figures. All right, let's see how the Super Saiyan Goku stacks up. Let's see, here's the tip top of the hair, about six and three quarters inches right there maybe a little taller maybe just a hair under seven hard to tell so from the top of the head you really can't measure the top of the head you have to measure to the top of the hair that's what she said <laughs> so let's get a couple other gokus in here here our new super saiyan goku is next to the saiyan raised on earth goku and the full powered super saiyan goku from the cell saga you see he sizes up well I don't know what it is. He looks from the shoulders. Uh, looks like his shoulders come up a little shorter than the other Goku's here. But the head is definitely a lot bigger. Look at That's what she said. <laughs> how much bigger that hair piece is. That looks really awesome. We'll do some head swaps here in a minute too. See how all that looks. And here he is next to our Super Saiyan 3 Goku from SH Figure Arts. This guy's a pain to get to stand up with that huge hair. And this is actually the Super Saiyan 2 Goku from Demoniacal Fit. Uh, so it's actually called Majin Buster or whatever, but it's an awesome figure. See how they stack up? Pretty much the same as previous. And with this mold, you can definitely tell. I would love to get a updated Super Saiyan 3. Goku on this buff body because this definitely looks way too slim next to this OG Super Saiyan Goku. I really wanted to do a head swap to see how this Super Saiyan 3 head looked on that body, but unfortunately, SH Figure Arts loves to switch up the neck pegs, and this guy is on a completely different like articulation system in there. So, as far as the Saiyan raised on Earth goes, that neck. It's so much thicker and bigger, it doesn't really like to fit there. You can fudge it. I was able to get it to work, but that skin tone does not match at all for this one. That skin tone is way off. But it does look like a happy Goku right after a battle. And unfortunately, the head sculpts on the full power Super Saiyan Goku and the demoniacal fit Goku won't work either. And I even tried the face sculpt. But as you can see here, as an example, here's the full power, and here's our new Goku. You can see how the pegs are set up differently, so they won't work. Unfortunate, but eh, it happens. All right, so as far as articulation goes on this Goku, we'll go over it pretty quick. The head and neck on like a that double ball, so get a lot of motion, a lot of tilt. It's all the way around, of course. Look, that far up, that far down. The arms, you have a butterfly joint, which gives you a good bit forward, but not really a whole lot going back. The arm does twist all the way around. The upper bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows, you get that much bend. And with the wrist, you get your typical wrist articulation, where you can twist, you can bend it any which way, you just have to turn that joint in there. With the waist and uh, abdomen. You get a ball joint up top, and another ball joint in the bottom, so you get a lot of tilt, a lot of twist, you twist all the way around. You look that far down, keep the legs straight, and he can go that far back. The legs, you kick out that far, and kick back that far. Double joint knee, you get some pivot there, but there's no swivel. And with the ankle twist, now a rocker, that far down. You're not going to go up much because of the string, and you get a good toe bend. So, good articulation. Also, this is a floating piece, and this piece does swivel. Be careful with this, because this... Um, like the belt piece will pop out and it's a pain in the butt to get back in. Yeah, that's the articulation. So, my final thoughts on the new updated Super Saiyan Goku. This guy is absolutely amazing. I can't recommend this figure enough. If you're a big Dragon Ball Z fan, uh, this perfectly represents that fight with Frieza. We're getting a buffed up Frieza to go with this guy here soon. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to get him. So I already have a final form Frieza, but I don't know. I'm back and forth. Maybe if it goes on sale. But as far as this figure goes, of course, like I said before, got the paint apps on the chest. That tone is a little lighter. 
than I would like. I'd like it to match the arms, but you can kind of get over that. It's not as bad in person. The articulation on this guy is great. The updated body. I hope we see this body on a, a Cell Saga Trunks when he goes all buff against a per Perfect Cell. They're trying to fight him. That'd be great. But I absolutely love this figure. I'm happy to add it to my collection. And I, like I said, I couldn't recommend it enough. So that's the review, guys. I hope if you had any questions or you were weighing your options on getting this guy, I hope I was able to help you in some way. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe and like it and check out some of my other videos. I've got more content coming. But until next time, I really appreciate you guys.